Tip FM's Tip Today with Fran Curry in association with Slattery's of Pecan, Tipperary's main Peugeot dealer. Slattery's Garage Pecan, the name you can trust for over 50 years in the Premier County. Slattery'sGarage.ie and welcome back to Tip Today. Karen Prendergast is with me to talk to us about interior design as usual. Good morning to you, Karen. Okay. And good to see you today. Um, you had a huge reaction to that uh, special primer you spoke about last time around. Will you tell us more about yeah, that? Yeah, so it's a special primer that I've only recently found myself. And um, it's a brand, I, I, can't, I don't talk about brands on on air but anyway um, it's a brand of p- a paint that's a primer that you can put on any surface and it will take any paint interior or exterior once you've got the product on wow. so it's it is it is absolutely great and um, it's recoatable within about an hour so once you put on a coat, it's dries and it's recoatable again in an, in an hour. So I've done some interior furniture with it that I can put on three coats in a day. My God! So, so that's it is really really good. Is this very new, know. Karen? It's um, it, well, it's new to me. It's yeah, new. Okay. It's new to me in the last six months. So if anybody's out there and they want to know the brand of paint, if they contact me on WhatsApp or Facebook or Instagram. I'll send them on the detail of right. it, no problem. I've also a picture of the can taken as well, so I can send them the picture of a can. Very good. Can. Is it expensive? It's about, for a litre, I think in or around €33. Euros. But it goes quite far, so it's okay. it's a it's a great product. It's right. a great product and it's available locally as well. So if anybody wants to name that product, um, I'll give out my number at the end of okay. the show and um, they can contact okay, me because so my phone nearly blew up the last day I was here <laughs> looking for that product. So. All right, so have, have a pen or a pencil yeah. ready towards the end of our, our chat here. Layered lighting. When, when you speak about layered lighting, what, what, what do you mean? Yeah, so I'm, I'm kind of today giving away some trade secrets that professional interior designers use. So layered lighting is not just one light source. So it's a combination of ambient, task and accent lighting to create depth and mood. So, for example, chandeliers are ambient lighting, floor lamps can be task lighting and wall sconces are under cabinet lights Mm. are for accent. So you need a combination of them all. I remember when we were doing up our house about four, about four and a half years ago now and we were into it and I wanted, um, I have no top presses, so I have... Uh, strip lighting under shelving over my kitchen units, you know, mm. and I have wall lights and have uh, lamps that I can plug in and switch from the switch when you when you um, go in the door or whatever. And I also have some remote control lighting as well. But I remember my electrician at the time saying, you do not need all of this lighting. I said, listen, I want the lighting, but your house is going to end up costing two or three times the cost of a standard house your size for the electrics. I don't care, I said, because I've only got one shot at my electrics. Mm. So I went, I didn't go over and above um, but I, I needed all the lighting I have. Yeah, so I have for, lots for of options. For, for options it, and for options. Yeah. And as well for, I find um, layering lighting and especially in the evening time, um, it's nice to have options mm. available to you and it does create a mood. And also it may be nice lighting that you need that you didn't think you might need in the first place. And you're trying to find a lamp or find some kind of, a, you know, a light that's going to work for you. Whereas course, if you had them yeah. in in the first place, they're there and they don't cost. It doesn't cost that much for extra electrical if you are mm. doing up a room or a kitchen or a bathroom. Any job I go into on my first consultation, someone will say, oh, will you come and have a look at the house and give me some ideas? Or will you, my hall is very dark and I want to change it up. Will you help me? It's not just going to be about the paint colour. It's going to be about the lighting. It, it nearly always, right. my I will be thrown to the lighting first, even though I might mention it for a few minutes into the consultation. Right, but less expensive to do it at the start. Less expensive to do yeah. it at the start. And I suppose it's to remember to to look in the right places when you're buying lighting because it's not just lighting shops there's lots of high street stores now and local hardware shops and everything that sell different types of lighting so it's a good idea to shop around before mm. you do buy and ob- and if you did buy a fitting and you didn't like the shade the, ch- the shade that's on the fitting the chances are you can change the shade to a different colour to suit the room Right, of course, yeah. As you said, you're giving away some of your uh, trade secrets today. Um, mixing textures, that's, that's important to a look, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, and, and I think that was an important thing for me to mention today because I was saying to you earlier on, I was in Dublin um, um, over the weekend doing some shopping and I have to say for the first time in probably 
10 to 12 weeks, the shops are absolutely stocked with lots of options. Loads of cushions, trows, rugs, um, cushions and trows that are coordinating and everything. I've been waiting for months for stuff to come into the shop, so it is available. So mixing textures adds visual interest and com- we always combine different textures and, mm. and um, colours to get the feel that we want in a room. A room might have a sleek metal table, a plush velvet sofa or a chunky wool rug and it's creating all those textures will give you the look and the feel to the room so you can't depend on any one item to finish Mm. off a room so a lot of my calls would be one-off calls that I go to somebody's house and they'd say look I have a couple of rooms and I'm not really not happy with them I'm not sure what I'm missing will you come and have a look so texture lighting um creates the mood Mm, interesting um you and I spoke about mirrors uh, quite a lot in this season of, of programmes and it was sparked by one mirror you showed me with the lighting around it in a in a bathroom uh, setting. I thought that was just fantastic. But mirrors in general, Karen? Mir- mirrors in general reflect light. You need them in a room, again, to, to create a space that works. If you have a mirror behind the light, it can amplify that light and it can throw more light into the room. If you've got a mirror opposite a window, it can throw more light into the room by, you know, mirroring the mm, light, the natural yes. light as well, reflecting yeah. it. So mirrors are really, really important. You don't need to go overboard them. You don't need them every place, but there'll be certain scenarios. I'll give you a good scenario now um, that we're talking about a mirror and lighting. Um, if somebody's living in a bungalow that's maybe 25 years old upwards, the chances are at the end of their hall, it's going to be quite dark. Mm. And at the chances at the time when houses were being built, there may not be a plug put in that end wall. So you're walking down the hallway yes, and you have the end wall and there's no, not much light. There are only maybe two light pendants. Um, so a good idea there is to get yourself a small table, a lamp, a mirror behind it. And if you don't have a plug there, find a way to get in behind one of the bedrooms behind it Mm. and plug in a lamp. So that might mean taking off the plug off the lamp, drilling a hole through the wall, putting back on the plug on the lamp and plugging it in. You definitely will have a, a a plug there someplace. So that would be something that I contend with a lot in older type houses, that there may not have been a plug put in the end of the hall, so they can't put in a lamp and if you could get a really narrow hall table as well and a mirror over that would brighten up that hall no end Very good, have you been peeping in my house (laughs) that describes exactly the way way our house, in fact you know sometimes like, is it true that you have to go through a couple of houses to get it right? I think so. Because I think so. It's, there's, not a, there's not a hope that any of us starting out are going to get it right but I suppose by talking to friends and family and maybe talking to somebody like me, even only to get a one-off consultation and an initial ideas, it can be worth its weight in gold. Mm. All right. So, by the way, we're running this live on Instagram if you want to have a look. It's tip underscore FM if you want to have a look at uh, Karen. There's no camera on me, thankfully. Um, proportion and scale. Yeah. The, the, again, classic mistakes are made around this. So designers pay attention to scale to avoid a cluttered or a a barren space, a a space that has nothing in it. The balance, large furniture and oversized art and decor and keep smaller accessories grouped together is better. So you might have a wow couch or you're into art, you know, you Mm. you love your art. Mm. You might have wow art, a simple couch, and then you might take one section of a table or a unit and you might do um, all your family photos there. You might do a collection of lamps there. So it's not to clutter everywhere. It's to pick your focal wall, put the items that you like there and that you love, light them up properly mm. and then maybe, you know, have your sofa and whatever colour that is. You you probably have a sofa maybe in two armchairs or a two-seater and a three-seater and layer that properly then with nice cushions, nice trows, maybe a nice lamp behind it in one corner again as well that you're not depending just on one lamp in a corner in the evening time just to mm. have a nice um, ambient feeling there and um, a nice big rug and leave it at that. But you don't need to cram every single thing into one room. They're, they're and ideas, when I was yeah. coming in the road this morning, friend, one thing that really struck me was, um, if I could get a chance just to say it, 
people will be thinking about Christmas soon and Christmas decorations and mm. buying Christmas presents now and storing them in different rooms and the whole lot not for you know people see what they're mm. getting or whatever or just uh, just spreading out their budget and buying now um, which I do every year I'll buy mm. early you know and um, not do it all in the one go declutter now get rid of some bits and pieces in the house now before you go thinking about the Christmas decorations before you go thinking about the Christmas presents it's the best feeling in the world to declutter honestly and I, I did a few bits of clothes there over the last month again different bits and pieces and I felt great after doing it it gave me more space in my drawers and my wardrobe but mentally I felt great after it I'm, I'm sure will you deal with one more before we go uh, a neutral base but bold accents on, on, on that. Will you just explain that to so us? It's a timeless trick to start with a neutral base. So it's classic colours, classic furniture. Add your pops of colours then with pillows, rugs or art or lamps. And this makes it easy to, to update a room any time you want to because you're not replacing the more expensive items. You're replacing yes. the, the add-ons. Is it okay if I give out a few colours? Yes, of course. I've got it a is, chance yeah. to give out a few colours. Yeah. So um, I'm looking at a chart today. So if you're thinking of doing neutral colours in your home, and again, whatever name Karen gives out, if you Google if you that, Google you'll, the, get the you'll get the exact. You'll get the exact brand. Yeah. Yeah. Country white, porcelain, carte blanche, white horse, a beautiful um, deep grey, greeny grey that I'm just after finding today. Apple box. Gatehouse is another lovely one. And if you're looking for a nice mushroom um, top colour, warm parchment, soft hessian, linen or tempting top. All right, very good. You'll put all of this up on your yes, own uh, yeah. platforms as well. If people want to talk to you, Karen, how can they, they can do that? They can contact me on 086 606 9009. That's 086 606 9009. Um, Facebook and Instagram is Interior Concepts and my website is interiorconcepts.ie Alright, great to see you as always and thanks for all that that lovely, lovely uh, information as always Karen. We'll take a break, we're back with more it's 11.41 Tip today with Fran Curry. With Slattery's Garage, puck on. You can't beat experience. With over 50 years maintaining Peugeot cars and vans, we like to call ourselves the experts. Call Slattery's Garage for a free vehicle health check today. 067 24111 or slatterysgarage.ie. 